Now, he speaks every language in every country worldwide, and his theme tune was a number one hit. And with the help of his pals, Scoot, Muck and Roly, he will, of course, fix it. As you can see behind us, it's Bob the Builder, of course, and his creator, who's originally from Basildon in Essex, has come back to Norfolk, where he spent his youth. Sarah Morris went to find out why. If you are or have been a parent of a young child, you'll probably know the words to this song, Inside Out. Voiced by Neil Morrissey, Bob and his gang of talking work vehicles have been enthralling preschool children for more than 10 years. But did you know Keith Chapman, the man who first dreamed him up, grew up in Coltishall in Norfolk? He's been back to the place where he learned animation, the Norwich University College of the Arts, to open a new £1.5 million state-of-the-art media lab. I wish we'd had this, you know, where we were. We were in an old... Um, building in Yarmouth, just off the seafront. Um, we didn't have computers, they weren't even invented. I work, obviously, with a lot of studios down in London, um, you know, the, be the best people around, really. And this feels like you're coming into a very similar environment, so I think the, the students here are really lucky. So, returning as an esteemed guest of honour, Keith has come a long way since he first got the idea for Bob the Builder. Going to work one morning and seeing a JCB on the side of the road, digging up the road, and I just thought, whoa, that looks quite interesting. So I got my sketch pad out and started doodling, and by the time I got on the train, I'd sort of cracked the first character. Then I thought, right, it needs a father figure to look after them, so I thought it was a toss-up between Bill the Builder or Bob the Builder, and I thought, Bob won. <laughs> And so Bob and his friends were born, and children all over the world are growing up with them, including this lot at Mile Cross Primary in Norwich. Can we fix it? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I like Bob the Builder. I like Bob the Builder fixing things. My favourite character is Keith's other creations since Bob include Rory the Racing Car and Fifi and the Flower Tots. And a brand new cartoon of his is about to be unveiled. Looking around, you can't help but wonder what wonderful characters are in store for the next generation of children. Sarah Morris, Anglia News, Norwich. Lovely uniform, isn't it? Well, as we mentioned, uh, Bob the Builder is known throughout the world under slightly different titles, but can you guess which country Bob appears under the following names we're going to show you? Yes, we can. Oh, yes, very okay, good. Okay, let's start with an easy one. Bob Le Bricoleur. That is the first one. No prizes for guessing that's Bob as he's known in <laughs> France. Starting you with an easy one. We're getting a bit harder now. What about this one? Bit of a Hollywood hero sound of this one. It's Bob de Bauermeister, <laughs> as they say in Germany, as well as Eat My Bricks. <laughs> I mean, we really love this <laughs> one. If I, can, if I can actually pronounce this one. Welcome to Bob Aguistatuto. You almost hit the yeah. feeling. You've got to do it that way. Can't a clue. He can't yeah. wait to get his hammer on the Tower of Pisa. Yes, it's Italian Bob. <laughs> what was his name again? Aguistatuto. <laughs> if you want to hear more from the creator of Bob the Builder and Mr Aguistatuto, we have an extended interview with Keith Chapman on our website. Just go to itv.com forward slash Anglia. Well, here's what to expect on the national news in a couple of minutes. My goodness, whatever next. Right, well, earlier in the programme, we asked what you thought about the idea of workers having to clock in and clock out for cigarette breaks. Yes, it follows a decision by Breckland Council in Norfolk who approved the measure earlier today. Thank you for getting in touch. We'll take a look at some of your thoughts now. Yeah, thanks for all of these. Plenty of them. I have to say fairly one-sided. Let's start with Rob Kovac from Meppershall in Bedfordshire who says you wouldn't be allowed to pop outside for an alcohol break, so why should smoking be any different? Mark Daniels from Norwich says, I don't think you should be allowed to smoke at work, but if you do want a break, you should have to clock out for coffee as well. And now here's one from Mark Daniels from Norwich who says, I don't think you should be allowed to smoke at work, but if you do want a break, you should have to clock out for coffee as well. That's one on the old coffee theme as well. Mm. Sean from Great Yarmouth emailed, this is grossly unfair to smokers, he says. Will non-smokers have to clock out for tea, coffee and toilet breaks? These can also be abused. Good point there. Was, yeah, very good point. We had some from, on Facebook as well. Simon Rolak got in touch with this one. They should only smoke on permitted breaks and during dinners, he says. It's unfair for the non-smokers who are unable to go outside for five minutes to have a smoke every hour. And Colin Bird emailed in with an alternative to clocking off. He says that every time a smoker spends ten minutes outside, this should be added to the non-smoker's annual holiday. 
Let's get one from Twitter now. This is Billy who tweeted us. He's saying, excellent news. Smoking is antisocial and should be banned altogether. Clocking off for a smoke is a step in the right direction. Well, thank you very much for all those comments. We do appreciate that. But it has been rather dreary it's and been oh, it's been nip horrible today. You won't want to do it today, that's but for sure. But I think things are going to get better. Here's Amanda Houston with the weather. We do like to hear from you. Yep, that's it for tonight, though. I'll be back with a late bulletin at half past ten. And until then, from both of us, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>